Okay, you had a lot of college interns. How did you approach the colleges to get the interns to come in and, and work for you? Well, we did have the advantage of being in the sports medicine facility, which gives you a little bit more credence than being a personal training studio. Um, but I think that it probably would have been fine if we were a studio anyways. And as a matter of fact, one of my facilities in um, – in Coeur d'Alene, we were getting students from the from the University of Idaho over there, and that was just pure personal training, no sports medicine or anything like that. Um, I would approach the professors. I would tell them what we were doing, uh, specifically the professors in exercise science, sports science, physical education. I would tell them that if they had interns who wanted to actually get credit hours, practicum hours, that we would be happy to have them come and work with the people in our facility. Um, the interns did need to be pursuing some type of personal training certification. Um, they would shadow, they would learn, they would typically shadow for about two to three weeks and then I would have them meet with clients on their own, oversee sessions on their own, um, keep in touch with me via email as they'd oversee things and then typically every four to six weeks you'll get letters from the professor um, or from, from the person who's overseeing the internship program that lets you grade the intern, sign off that they showed up, sign off that they put their hours in, give feedback, um, and essentially make it so that the intern can actually get credit for the work that they've done. 